Well, it's week five of horse camp for a group of kids over at Heritage Hills in Ishpeming. Fox UP's Kelsey Nemisto went to camp to find out what the youngsters have been learning these last few weeks. Kelsey. Ben, it was great to see the kids just having so much fun, but learning a lot at the same time. And believe me, there's a ton to learn. But the best part for many of the kids was having hands-on experiences. I think it's cool that we actually get to do it, not just learn about it. Like, it's like, sure, you can, like, someone can tell you how to do something, but here you actually get to do it. Heritage Hills Kids Horse Camp is a six-week camp once a week for two hours. Children are given the opportunity to learn how to horseback ride, how to take care of their horse, the different parts of the horse, and a whole lot more. I never really knew that when you rode a horse, you had to put your heels down. And that's one thing that's helped me a lot throughout this camp. There are 10 kids in this particular summer session. Two kids are assigned to one horse and share the responsibilities of that horse, such as grooming and getting ready for riding. Owner Joni Gleason says she usually has a spring camp and a summer camp, then devotes her time to the abundance of tourists during July and August. But these days she's thinking more camp sessions are in order. We have a lot of kids that come here just in the summertime, like people's grandkids and that are visiting every summer that have come to our camp every year. And I realized I was leaving them out. So we are going to be doing a couple mini camps this summer. The children even got to paint a horse. It was a fun, colorful way for them to understand the parts of the horse and where they're located. I just like being with the horses. Being with the horses is really nice because you have to make sure that their attitude is like calm and always be aware. The kids only have one more week of camp left. Gleason says it's amazing to watch them evolve from being afraid of the horses on the first day to riding the trails like they've always done it. Gleason also says she has a she and a local therapist are doing horse therapy with people with special needs or those with other disorders and says they're having great success. I plan to catch up with her next week to get a peek at that. Ben. Thank you.